Okay. Definitely a foul. You, you appreciate Harden taking the charge for Embiid like a good friend. Like, you're more valuable. I'll say it was mine. Do they, like, <laughs> I mean, somebody had to get ejected. I guess it was James Harden. Right. Here's the deal. Each call, they made the wrong call. And I think each one was worse than the previous. Hmm. Joel Embiid should have been thrown out of that game. Thank you. There is, there, it, it is. You don't think so? Okay, what? so I oh, think, God, I think under is. the There's current no standards, Joel Embiid, he intentionally kicked Nick Claxton, and that's an ejection. That is a non-basketball play. That's an ejection. However, oh, of the three call decisions... I find giving him a flagrant one versus a two the least objectionable. Then we get to Harden. Harden's play, I don't think should be an ejection in youth basketball, much less the NBA playoffs. It can't be an ejection, especially when you there. it was not as if Harden and Royce O'Neal had been going back and forth all game the way Embiid and Claxton had been, where it's like, oh, I have reason to believe this was an intentional groin shot. Harden flails his arms about and has for a decade trying to draw offensive fouls, and Harden is so uh, trying to draw defensive fouls, pardon me, and he's so conditioned for it, when he heard the whistle blow, he thought he had drawn one when he saw they called a foul <laughs> on him, he freaked out. You do with the flagrant one. Uh, flagrant I'm fine with the flagrant one, one okay. there because yeah, even if it's not intent, it doesn't have to be intentional. He did. He, well, he's talking about he didn't deserve a foul. Right. What That's heck? ridiculous. What? But a flagrant one does not have to be intentional. It can be an accident and still get you a flagrant one. And then right. the last one. That's ridiculous. Is to me the most ridiculous of them all. And I, listen, I had a real good view of this from there. And I saw that because the ref, after he blew his whistle, Again, this is body language from 50 feet away. I think he instantly regretted it. That he forgot. that. He I think he forgot Claxton already had a tech. Yeah. Because teeing up Nick Claxton when he already has a tech, you everybody knows there's a second threshold brew yep. for your second tech than your first. This was not ejection worthy. So I think they went over three, personally. And I think it's, uh, I, I, I think it's, and by the way, the regular calls were bad. The Nets didn't have a foul called on them the entire third quarter and then the first eight minutes of the fourth quarter. It was a terribly officiated game. Terribly. I'm going to take it further. Oh. The referees cost Brooklyn the game. Oh, oh wow. wow. The referees cost Brooklyn the game. And I get it. Brooklyn's not on the same level as Philadelphia. Like you would say. You can't prove that. No He's question about it. But here's the thing. Joel Embiid absolutely should have been ejected. Yes. There is no – especially – Coming off the heels of what we just saw with Draymond Green. Literally. There is no doubt that he <laughs> well, should have been ejected. First of all, Nick Claxton, as he's dunking the basketball, MB grabs his leg. Number one. Number two, I don't I get that it's disrespectful to walk over a guy, but when you look at it from certain angles, I don't know if Claxton was like getting over him like oh, Iverson did oh, Ty Lue. I think he was just he's look. I'm not backing up because you fell on no. the ground. Okay. I'm going to walk where I was walking. Oh, now, oh bro, but even so, ridiculous. Even, hold on. Even <laughs> so, it still doesn't justify you kick. 100%. This is a humongous man. How long is he? 7'1? 7'2, I 300 think. 300 pounds? Yeah. He kicked him with force. Thankfully, he missed where he was shooting for, but still, <laughs> he should have been ejected, no doubt. And that's the best player on the floor. Yeah. You eject James Harden. You were doing the Nets a favor. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Because <laughs> James Harden, despite 21 points, he had a team high minus 15 plus minus. Okay? And then you eject Nick Claxton, who was, I'm not going to say he was outplaying Embiid, but he was he having was the close. game of his life. He was having 18 points. He had a team high plus 13. So they were up 87-81 when Claxton gets out of the game, and then they get outscored 21-10 to 10 over the next eight minutes. Claxton's one of the best defenders in the league. Yeah. So I am saying the fact that you left Philly's best player on the floor, you took away the Nets' best player that night, yeah. and you took away <laughs> so Harden, who, thing who, who was a minus 15. <laughs> okay. And his, his replacement at point, Tyrese Maxey, takes over the game <laughs> to win. True. And And – we're going to get to more of this, but it's ridiculous. I, the NBA looks scatterbrained. Oh. They look scatterbrained. Like, like they're just making these game, series, and potentially franchise-altering decisions. Franchise-altering? Willy-nilly. Okay. Willy-nilly, just 
you know what? Flagrant two for him. Uh, uh, a one for him. Um, let's get you out of here. I don't know what you did, but we're getting you out of here. I mean, it's ridiculous. Right, I agree. They you. look terrible. Listen, it was okay. it was as poorly officiated as a playoff game can be. Wilds, uh, go ahead. All right. So can I focus on Embiid? Yeah. All right. Wilds' take here is I great. I got a sneak you. preview of it. Let him do it. All right. So here's this the thing. is great. I think your my personal space when we're at this desk extends beyond the outer layer of my clothing. Like this is a little bit of my space and that's like your space. When you are laying on the ground, you own the space up to the roof of the building. You own that <laughs> space. Just like if you are a homeowner, your neighbor can't build some odd building <laughs> over your home because you have the air rights. And in the basketball world, if you take a three and you're off the ground, you still have the air rights underneath your feet. Okay. And if yeah. you try to sneak in there, it's a foul on you. When Embiid is on the ground, that is his right. No one can step over you. No. He is looking to get hit. I you know what you Even know. if I give you that, that Justin, did yes, you feel that way my, with Draymond? You did, I think. You don't think Draymond should have been ejected, Yes, right? because that's Sabonis' space. It's your space. When you're on the ground, this is your space. So, I, hold on. You get a, Even if I give that, you that, I don't think that doesn't justify what Embiid correct. did. Correct. So, that's, that's the what thing. What are you supposed to do? You're supposed to just lay there? Oh, okay, no, thanks for thing. this. No, Love no, no. It. Here's the thing, and I think that we all know this. We know this, anyone that's raised kids. You have two young boys. I'm yeah. not trying to talk about your boys in a negative way at all. Uh-oh. Uh, but I imagine they f- sometimes fight. No. Okay, all right. I would imagine they do. <laughs> I know when my kids fought. I felt differently about regular fighting and if somebody kicked somebody. So if somebody steps over uh, you, if Embiid had pushed him, I don't think anyone's saying different. he's ejected. I think it's the kick. Kicks I are, agree. to me, it's almost like a punch. Punch. That was like It's a, almost oh. like a no, punch. It's a punch with your it's foot. It's not fully a punch, but it's close. I Because you can do crazy I damage to- with a kick. I totally agree with From you. From your back? Did you? Can we see it again? He hit him with look his at chin. How, look no. at the force no. that MB kicks listen, up I mean, with. I mean, Claxton falls hard. Look at this, Watts. It's listen. And this dude is huge. So He's I, like Shaq. Then, then don't wild. step over no, him. Wild. Even I, if he oh. does, he shouldn't be. I agree with That's you ridiculous. that what Claxton did is, and this is a particular like alpha ma- male machismo sports thing. Stepping over a guy is inciting. It's what LeBron did to Draymond. To when Draymond did Ty Lue kick Al- well, Allen Iverson? That's the no, and it's haunted him for two decades. <laughs> <laughs> and it's haunted him for two decades. No, it's on T-shirts. So I, but I actually think that is apropos here, bro, because you can't be the best player in Sixers history since Iverson, mm-hmm. and then act like getting stepped over is a capital offense. You can't. You, you just can't. So I let me throw this out yeah. there too, because I, I don't want to get away it's from Claxton. For two <laughs> Look, <laughs> we've got college female players giving the "you can't see me," yeah. giving the "put a ring on it," sure. and I love it from Caitlyn and Angel. Yeah. I, I, I'm fine with it, but we won't let NBA players. Flex a little oh, and look at a guy. Yeah, no, okay, they I need to that. get rid of the taunting or, or at least I, up the threshold. I do not think. Because that was – I agree with you, Nick, that maybe the ref didn't forgot I oh, think this is going to get him out of the game. But even so, I, that shouldn't be a penalty, period. I do not think there should be taunting rules in professional sports. Uh, and maybe I, there's okay, at a higher some. threshold. Well, but well, that you can, can I look at you after so I don't go on your – beyond the right. pale. And everybody always says, what are we going to tell the kids? It's very the simple kids are doing- what you tell the kids. Here's what you tell the kids. Hey, Johnny, when your games are on national TV, you can act like that too. Until then, hand the ball to the refs and show good sportsmanship. This is professional yeah, athletics. Is we don't need to be protecting guys' feelings. So that's why I said I thought the worst of them all was throwing Claxton out. I thought the worst of them all, this guy did get kicked by this player. Yep. He is now outplaying the MVP in a critical moment in the fourth quarter. Has a moment of, call it, over-the-top celebration. And it was not that right. over-the-top. Didn't top. get in his face, yep. just no. flexing kind of, and ran back with his lip. <laughs> like, it was great. It was great. And, I come was, on. It was I terrible. I was shocked when I heard the whistle. Nick? Embiid seemed a little humble about it, too. Embiid was like, you're out of here. He like, loves right. It. Yeah. Yeah, he I'm not saying gone. they were going to win the series. Okay. 
But the well, rest cost them this game. The rest the, cost them yeah, this the only, game. My finals picks, the only team in the league up 3-0. That's all oh, I know. Pretty good. Uh, pretty good. Right, let's yeah. let's pretty good uh, bring in Charles Barkley okay. and hear what he had to say. Take a listen. Chuckster. So here's the thing. I disagree with Charles that it was worse than Draymond's. Because maybe if he had, maybe it could have been worse. Maybe if he had made full flush contact, who knows. But it was not worse than Draymond's. Where I agree about the similarities is, I think Joel Embiid is going to be suspended. Uh, I mean, I think Joel Embiid. Listen, it, we. This is where it is important to have take integrity, which luckily I am cloaked in, yeah, because people know. <laughs> and I'm not. This is not a shot at you guys. This is just a very vicious it's just shot a, at a other wild, media. Uh, exaggeration, no, over exaggeration uh, is what it was. Uh, listen, I picked the Warriors <laughs> to lose in round one. I picked the Sixers to make the finals. Luckily, that doesn't color. My opinion on this whatsoever. Brew, Embiid doesn't have the same history as Draymond, but he's got a bad one. Yeah. He, he clubs folks a lot. He, he has more flagrants in the last decade than Draymond You want to does. see that history? The, okay, we, sure. We got a graphic of it. He's okay. played half the games that Draymond has and yet has more flagrant fouls. I okay, believe I'm we sure got we a graphic can, we'll here that will be coming we'll up, up at up some point. It's good, uh, it's good the, graphic. I, no, we'll show it in a second. Here, here, here we go. Look at half as many games. Yeah. And yeah, more flagrant fouls. And Tell me about history. Right. And, and here's the point. other component of it. He wasn't thrown out. If he had been thrown out and missed 43 minutes of this game, well, this actually happened 45 minutes of mm -hmm. this game, and they lost, I don't think he's suspended. But because he was not thrown out, he, he, he suffered essentially no penalty, and his team won, Ty is going to go to suspension. Too little, too late. Thank too you. little, too late. Now, now look, I, with Charles, it was about the same to me. Oh, I, I think both of them were about the same, and I think they should have gotten the same penalty. I didn't think Draymond should have been suspended. I think MB should have gotten a flagrant two and been ejected. Now, Nick, I don't want – I don't even want him to get suspended because you know what? The series is over. It's 3-0. And honestly – and I'll say this honestly – you would probably be doing the Sixers a favor because Embiid took a lot of shots. He was on the floor a lot. Mm -hmm. He, we know, is a guy that has a history injury. Heck, well, they might even – I, I wouldn't they be – they agree with that, on. they could just sit him. They might. Oh. I really think – my point is if they suspend him, mm -hmm. then he gets to rest, and there's no chance that Brooklyn's going to win this series, even if they rest Embiid and lose game four. They might rest him. They really but, might rest him up for I mean, he hurt his knee a bit. Yeah. He went to the yeah. So you'd be room. doing them a I don't want – no, don't, I, honestly, I didn't want it, period. I don't want this – this is I, too little too late. You, you ruined the series and the game. Yeah, I, I'm game surprised that, like, just for, like, being a basketball fan, super high level uh, from 10,000 feet. And Bede had the best play maybe of the playoffs so far with this block. The block, Game-saving yeah. block. But, like, in your world, if you could redo it, you don't want him in the game, so this never happens. Like no, I'm just I, in general, I'm like keep the best players on the floor. I, I well, agree. Then keep I, 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 on the listen, floor. I agree with that on close calls. I think on close calls, err on the side of don't foul out the best guy. Yep. Don't throw out the best guy. I do think there needs to be some red letter rules. And I think that I would be I'm so much less bothered by the, fla the, the calls that turn into flagrant ones when guys going up for a rebound and elbow someone in the face unintentionally. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. Like, they, 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 to me, that's just part of sports. Right. But things that are clearly unrelated to the game that could cause injury or could, it, it, I don't want, not slippery slope, but cause injury that have nothing to do with the sport – I'm fine with the league saying we're not having it. And <clears throat> pardon me. And the last point on this that I think is noteworthy, if he's not suspended, I know Warrior fans will be all upset about it. Where there is a distinction if he's not suspended. Where there is a distinction is this. After this, yeah. Embiid did not go to the crowd and rile him up. And Embiid in the press conference. He was a little cheeky about it. Yeah, but instead he, he, of saying, that guy stepped over me, what do you want me to do? He's like, I don't remember the play. Yeah. Like, he certainly that's didn't just incriminate about himself. Bad. No, right. he, no, didn't no show, he didn't show remorse. He, he didn't incriminate remorse. himself. 
He also, did. Claxton was not hurt. Well, that's the other thing. It's a bonus. Well, well, it's a bonus. Oh, some some said Claxton should have went down yeah. and acted like played to the correct. Well, 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 Stop stepping over people. Don't step over another man. Sorry. Right. That's just, that's rule. You it know, I came justify. out of the womb and my dad told me that. Never step over another man. It's not good. I said, okay. <laughs> That's true, Dustin. He got a talk. tech. He got punished for it. I, I well, agree with got, you. Got thrown he out got of the game. Tech. It's terrible. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.